Hey, what's up everybody? As promised, me and Charlotte here. We're going to review the three available docks for the new Roborock S7 Max V. All right, so first up, like I said, this one doesn't really need much of a review. It is just your standard charger. Uh, this comes if you're just buying the Roborock Max uh, version itself. It will just come with this charging dock. So simple, you plug it in, put the robot on it, good to go. Um, does come with the pad, like I said, pad's very useful. I recommend you definitely use the pad, it'll prevent the dock from moving around, um, but that's that's just about all you'll get with this one. So obviously that's what it looks like without the robot on it. Comes with about, uh, I'd say at least six to eight foot cable. So convenient for placement. You'll, uh, when placing it, you wanna put it against the wall so that way uh, prevents any movement and then this pad itself will prevent the dock from moving left to right anymore. Self-explanatory, just like the others, it's pretty much plug and play, you plug it in, it is uh, ready to go. It's pretty much all you get, dock cord, and the plate. You're good to go. So obviously with the charging dock itself, uh, this is something that's uh, recommended for people, uh, maybe a smaller household or household where there's no pets, uh, less of a messy environment, uh, maybe not as many kids, uh, so uh, where the robot doesn't require as, much, as frequent emptying, uh, things like that, where robot can go around maybe multiple days and then uh, you just have to empty the bin every once in a while. That's where just the basic charging dock would come in hand. Um, all right, so next up we have the Plus Dock. So this works with the Roborock S7 and now uh, the newer one, the Roborock S7 Max V. So this dock will work with both models, same dock. Um, this dock is uh, probably will be the most popular or uh, you'll find in most households. Uh, so basically what this dock does is it just empties the bin of its contents. So robot's done cleaning, comes back, empties the garbage from the bin, and it's ready to go on the next clean. Uh, this is very convenient for medium-sized households, even larger households where uh, it's just mainly doing, you know, vacuuming, a uh, little spot mopping here and there. Um, so that way you're not constantly having to empty the bin uh, where robot does its job, comes, empties itself if it has to, uh, maybe moves on to the next task, or it's, it's just ready to go for the next day. Uh, as compared to the robot vacuuming, the bin being full, you having to go to the bin, empty it, put it back in, the robot continues cleaning. Uh, can be somewhat of a nuisance, so this is definitely recommended household, medium size, even smaller ones with uh, pets that require a little more vacuuming. Uh, so that way you're not constantly having to empty the bin. Uh, it does fairly good job uh, as far as emptying the contents out of the bin. So if you want to get the Plus Dock as a bundle, it comes with the robot as well. Uh, it's going to be the, for the Roborock S7 Max V Plus bundle. Uh, it comes out to $1,159.99. That's also available through Amazon, Roborock's website, or Walmart.com. Now the neat thing with the Plus model also comes with the Cyclone self-empty dustbin which is pretty cool, you don't have to continuously buy bags. Works fairly well, simple, fills up, empty it, put it back on, simple as that. So this just pulls off. This comes as the whole kit like this. And you would just slide it in. Unfortunately, the Cyclone bin is not available on the Ultra model uh, at this time, just for the Plus. Hopefully in the near future, we'll have that. But as of right now, it's just available on the Plus model. So the Ultra Dock as well as this one. Now the way Roborock designed this, it actually sucks the contents of the bin out back through the roller brush section itself. So what uh, happens when it's done cleaning, it comes back on here. When it's emptying, the roller brush starts spinning in the opposite direction. And then the vacuum inside of this starts sucking out and everything out of the dustbin and its contents sucks right back into here. 
and I don't know if you're able to see this, it goes right back in through there. So it's a good size opening here. Um, after using this for approximately four weeks now, I haven't ran across any issues of clogging or anything like that. Um, usually it's mainly uh, Charlotte is the one that makes the mess. Um, and it'll be pulling out dog hair mainly. Uh, no issues as far as dog hair and regular, you know, dust and stuff like that, nothing major. Um, I'm assuming if, if it's picking up thicker content, you might come into maybe some clogging issues, but I haven't experienced that. The design on this is pretty neat. Uh, I love the look of it. Nice design they also have on this side is where it has a dual, see it has a dual filtration system, so that's the inner filter and then there's also a secondary filter on the outside as well. So that will definitely prevent from any dust or any other content being pushed out into the air inside your room wherever you're keeping your vacuum cleaner. And then this one, bag, pretty simple. Once it's full, you'll pull this out, pull the bag out, replacement bag it's placed back in you're good to go all right so now we're on to the brand new ultra dock now i've been using this thing for a couple days and this thing's been amazing it does a great job overall uh cleans the pad pretty well uh you can set the frequency of cleaning how often you want it to clean the pad as it's uh vacuuming mopping and then you can also set the intensity of how much water you want it to use as far as uh, when it's cleaning the pad. Uh, so there's a low, medium, and then there's a high uh, water consumption cleaning. So if you have a household, obviously a bigger household, uh, more more pets where you need you want a little more cleaning, then you probably want the max cleaning uh, mode set up on this. Obviously that's gonna use a lot more water out of your tank, so you're gonna spend more frequent times refilling the clean water tank and more time emptying the dirty water tank. When the robot's out done uh, cleaning, doing its job, it comes back on the ultra dock. The dock goes ahead and it cleans the pad underneath. Um, actually does a pretty decent job cleaning the pad. And then what it does is uh, backs up, turns back around and it sets up for charging mode, which it's in right now. And it also empties the dustbin as well. Um, and then obviously, clean water tank so this will refill the water tank on the robot itself after it's done cleaning and then you have the dirty water tank which uh, is the water it collects down there after it's done cleaning the pad so we'll just do a quick little rundown of each and uh, go from there all right so the ultra dog just like the plus it sucks everything right back out through the roller brush section so now this one if you notice it doesn't go in there. What it does is it sucks everything out to the right side. Now, I haven't had too much experience with this one. Uh, like I said, I've only been using it for a couple days. So no clogging yet, but obviously not as much dirt has gone through it like that one there. So we'll see as time goes on. Um, if there's any changes, I'll post an updated video. Um, but so far, it's been uh, sucking out pretty good. Uh, now, as far as the pad, so you can see this, this little brush here. It's got like, it's not super soft. It's got some firmness to it. Uh, so this is a roller. Uh, basically, it goes back and forth. And as it's cleaning, it's also uh, spraying out some water, um, cleaning off that pad pretty good. It does a pretty good job with the pad. And all the dirty water, piles up right in there and then the dock itself it sucks up the water from there it goes up into the dirty water bin so these bins both of the water bins are removable so obviously open this up so there you have it that's where your dirty water is going to go once that fills up Empty it, good to go. Same thing, clean water. Now this is one thing I came across that really, it's nice having the handle there. 
but I feel like it would be better off if it went to the back because opening this, kind of got to move the handle up, open this, then kind of the handle's got to go back down and you push this up just so you can get the lid open. Not a big deal, but just a little, little thing. All right, so we got this one open, so obviously there's the water. It's about three quarters, three quarters of the way, so it's above half right now. Um, that's two days worth. I don't have a big, big apartment here, but seems that based on that, that should probably last me at least four or five days. And then this one right here, this is just the cover. So that covers up the bag which sits in this thing. Now, one other thing I noticed with this, not overall, not a bad setup. Um, could it be a little better? It could, because if you're not paying attention when you're putting this down, it can pinch the bag right there. So you kind of got to just watch the bag, push the bag in a little bit when you're closing this, just so it doesn't pinch the bag, so it doesn't prevent the bag from expanding. All right, so... That's pretty much the overall view. That's what it looks like. Obviously size wise, it's almost double the size of the plus. Uh, Charlotte's just passed out there sleeping. gonna do we're gonna run a quick test on the suction of this thing see how it is with the smaller opening available on the side there as compared to the plus so what I've done I've jam-packed this you can see it's pretty much full as much as you can get there mostly of a uh, Charlotte's hair and uh, other dirt and debris so we're gonna put this filter back on make sure that's in there nice and snug closed up See, she's loaded up. Okay, now let's get this back on there. All right, I needed to free up a hand there. But as you can see, dustbin, we're gonna put it back in there.
All right, so it looks like it's uh, done emptying. That was just the first try, so let's take a look, see what we have here. Wow. Actually, surprisingly, it did a very good job there. See, minor, very minor leftovers. Uh, so it looks like the size of the hole didn't really make uh, too big of a difference. As uh, overall, I think the size of the tube leading up is about the same. It's just the initial opening is larger on the plus. But as you can see, the suction didn't seem to be uh, any issue as far as the size. Let's pull the robot off, see if we have any leftover debris here. And as you can see, that looks pretty clear from here. Um, so suction looks to be pretty good. Um, comparable, like I said, if there's any changes, I will make updates, but the suction looks pretty good comparable to the plus model. So this stock here, this would be recommended for pretty much anybody with a bigger size household, even smaller household, or even somebody with a small apartment um, that just wants to have a dock that does everything for them. Um, it would be very convenient if obviously if you have a smaller household, you'll probably go for a little while before you would have to change out the water, refill it, or pretty much do anything with the dock. Uh, I would recommend even at that point, at least once every, every other week, um, clean the bottom uh, bin there where the robot washes the pad because uh, that's obviously it's going to be moist constantly. Um, you might have some odor buildup, stuff like that. So the more frequently you clean it, the less chances of uh, developing any odors or anything like that. So overall, I highly recommend both of these. Uh, even if you got the plus, I definitely recommend the self-empty bin, uh, the bagless bin because it just prevents you from having to purchase any additional bags. Um, it also has filtration system on it, including the filtration system that comes inside of the plus as well. Um, I mean, both of these will work great in uh, any household, especially if you have a Charlotte in your household. Now, the differentiating factor, obviously, whether you want the Ultra between the Plus, uh, it all comes down to uh, price. Um, if you're able to afford it and you want to spend less time having to deal with the maintenance, the cleaning uh, of the mop pad, I definitely recommend going with the Ultra Dock. Now, the Ultra Dock is available currently only as a bundle. Um, you can only pre-order now on Roborock's website since it is out of stock. It's uh, $1,399 in the US. Uh, the dock itself should be coming out uh, roughly around June 8th. Uh, it should be available through Roborock, Amazon, and Walmart initially. Um, possible expansions from there. So if you have a bigger household, if you do mopping regularly daily, the convenience just outweighs the price for me. Um, just having this thing vacuum on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, usually I work 24-hour shifts, so sometimes I'm not home for a day or two, and I don't want my wife to constantly have to mess with the robot, clean it, take care of the baby, take care of Charlotte. I would uh, definitely recommend the Ultra. Um, hands down, two days with it, it's, it's worked wonders um cleans empties and puts the robot right back in service ready to go for round two round three whatever it takes uh like i said the only downfall right now is there's no uh bagless version available for it uh i would hope in the future uh based on how the cover is designed i think it's definitely doable they would have to built in build in uh, the bagless version somehow into the cover itself. Um, kind of similar to this where just the whole unit slides out and you just slide the new bagless unit in. I think that's pretty much it for uh, review. The differences between the two, 
Uh, if you guys have any other questions, uh, feel free to post in the comments. Uh, if you want to see anything else between the two, comparison, anything like that, let me know. Uh, when I get the free time, I will do uh, another comparison. And uh, Once again, thank you for watching.